Hello and welcome. My name is Bubba Fabes and welcome to another episode of In the Mind of a Player. We are getting back on track to a one of these episodes per week. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get those notifications of these episodes as well as many other how-tos, guides, and gameplay footage that I wouldn't want you to miss out on. So without further delay, here is episode 10 of In the Mind of a Player. All right, so here we are on Canal, and we won our last defense, which means we are down here defending the map zoom and the kitchen. Now, the key to defending this area of the map is to hold the tower. What that does is it denies the attackers those drop hatches, as well as worrying about that flank. And what these drop hatches can do is the one here in the maps room, that will allow someone an easy drop if they're able to open up those windows, have someone with that uh, ACOG that's aiming in, have someone drop down there, that's an easy plant for them, so we don't want them to do that. As well as that kitchen drop hatch, that kind of covers some of our rotation between the kitchen and the map zoom, so that's something that we want to protect as well. So I'm going to use a lot of my ADS down here because this is where the final stand is going to happen. I am going to try to hold this tower as long as I can, but I know it won't be for forever. So there will be a final stand down there. I just want to waste as much time as I can and hopefully stay alive in the process. And another way to do that is for that retreat is right now my only retreat option is the stairs so sometimes some players will keep that kitchen drop patch open just for that retreat in general now drunk charlie here has used his reinforcements to ford fortify up this barricade the pillbox and what this is going to do is if they want this easy access to that strong push and to get me they're going to have to waste a thermite charge and this is good for us because this is less opportunity for them to use one later and they only have one option left so it's either going to be a hatch or it's going to be a wall downstairs so i'm just going to be potato aiming this drone completely missing it not too worried but i would rather get rid of it because that means eyes on me and they're going to know where i'm going to be sitting in this room so i don't want that so i'm finally going to get rid of this drone I hear a lot of commotion out there. I'm getting calls of Thatcher charges going off somewhere. So as this charge goes off, I'm going to make my way behind these monitors and I'm going to try my best to hold this position for as long as possible. And the way I'm going to do that is not expose myself. I want to keep an eye on this door because as they try to enter, it'll kind of leave them exposed. But if I just kind of sit up with my head out there, they get that peeker's advantage, which gives them that split second extra time to see me. And it can be an easy headshot for them. So I'm just revealing as little of myself as possible. And all I'm looking for is a small little glimmer. And as I can see there, I just saw it. An image of his gun which let me know that he's out there he's out in the open so now I peek that gives me that peekers advantage and I'm gonna use these monitors as a little bit of a whack-a-mole idea they'll never know which way I pop out of I come from the left I can come from the right I know where they are I see I know where that blackbeard is all I have to do is pop up pre-fire pop back down switch my position rinse and repeat this will keep them suppressed it'll waste their time and I'm just going to keep moving that, try to hold them off as much as I can. So I'll just switch my position to the right side. I know where Blackbeard kind of is. I'm being very careful of that door too because I could come in through that side door and try for that flank. And there you go. I see that Ash kind of going there. So I need to be mindful of her. That's a different play style. She's a faster character. Unlike the slower Blackbeard where it's easier for me to just move, move, get some fast shots off and pop back down. She's a lot quicker and she has that smaller hitbox. So I'm watching out for that too. Make my way in. I don't know if Blackbeard's still there. I can see them both outside. I saw her peek there, so I'm going to pop up in the middle. Pre-fire that same position, expecting to see that Ash, but Blackbeard made his way over there. So he paid that price instead. So that works out to my advantage, but I know that the Ash is still around there. So I'm going to continue to hold this position, expecting her to come find me still. We've wasted a lot of time for them. They've wasted so much time on this push. There's only 50 seconds left. So I'm going to continue to hold this push until about it gets much closer where I know they have to hit up the position. So I can hear someone rappelling on that west window there. And you can see the diffuser was down there. And I knew that they were kind of trying to pinch on me. I was hoping to still be able to catch them off guard as they run around. But I kind of moved my position. And as it comes down to the last couple of seconds, they're not pushing me as much as I thought. 
They may have already grabbed that diffuser. 20 seconds left. It's going to hit that 15 second mark. No matter what happens as an attacker, that's the panic button. That gives me a chance. I can hear them breaking windows out here. I know that they're going to be pushing from here. So I'm going to come in from behind. I can see that Thatcher there. I just kind of hip fire him in ADS. I got the, did get the kill on him, but I made the mistake of being overconfident. I could have, if I just ADS'd and pre-fired, I would have got that kill on him much quicker and would have given me the chance to maybe refocus down the hallway and maybe I wouldn't have died to that second player. But this here is another quick thing I want to point out is this defensive smoke position and how he uses his smokes. He held on to them and he's holding the position. He's not, he can be a great roamer, but if you see in the pro leagues, he's actually used a lot on defense for that last minute push. You use all those smokes to waste that time and make it really difficult, if not impossible, for them to push into that room through that smoke to make that plant. So here we are on the same map, on the same bomb sites, but this time we are on attack. Now I'm going to show you just kind of the same idea, but from the other perspective. So here we are on attack, we're watching these windows, we're being very careful for those peaks. Also watch these soccer windows here, because that's an easy way to pick someone off as they're not expecting it, run across that galley. And we're going to drone it out, being careful that someone doesn't hop out that door to get me. We're looking for that defensive player that's holding this top floor. And this is what we are doing, is we're going to take over this top floor, open up these hatches before we can make her push down below. So, droning this out, so far it looks clear and the hatches aren't even reinforced. But, Valk over there came up the stairs. She's making her way into monitors, getting, looks like she's going to be heading towards that... Uh, pillbox, so I'm gonna break through this door. The best way to clean out players from this top floor is to get those multiple angles. So I'm gonna come in here. If she's still in that pillbox, then she's kind of stuck. So I'm gonna wait till another one of my players comes to join me before I make my way around through servers just to try to get that other angle on her. We're gonna pinch her, get her out, clear off this top area so I can start setting down my breaching charges and we can continue on our attack. So we got a kill there. Now I'm just going to hop back on my drone just to confirm this kill because you can never be too careful. The last thing I want to do is just run out willy-nilly and expose my back as I place down some charges. So now in a perfect situation, it would be perfect for another player to come in to open up these hatches because we don't need to waste thermite on them. But again, solo queue, sometimes they just don't always come to that kind of aid. So I'm just going to use these charges on here get these open so we can continue our attack but again if someone else did I would have been able to go down into the hallway hopefully we open up some of those bomb sites just to like overexpose these bomb sites and make it easier for our push now there's another mat down there always get rid of those because when things come down to it and you make an opponent push you won't always see those and sometimes that will lose you the round so I'm gonna take the time I'm just gonna shoot that mat out even though I don't expect someone to go down on it we got that push from the stairs Looks like we got a good trade off. I got glass watching that stairs for me, so I'm gonna continue my push up here. I'm gonna drone up this hatch. This is a perfect place to be able to drop, especially if you have a couple of the teammates alive. They can open up those windows on that west end from that other building, and it'll help protect you as you watch and you plant. I know someone's in this closet. I can drop down pretty safely behind this brick wall. It's a pretty good way to drop down into the bomb site. I hear callers or the other person's in the hallway, so I'm pretty safe right now. I don't. Th I think she's pretty stuck in there unless she's able to open up that wall, which I don't think she is. So I wait her out a little bit, then I'm going to make my way to the other side of the room, get this plant off, and as I do this, it's just her, uh, she's expecting me to be on that one side of the wall. I was pretty exposed there, so I'm going to lay a claymore. Fantastic protection on a bomb. No one's always looking for that. I heard her running towards me, so I just pre-fired, and I got that easy kill. Make sure you're always listening to those footsteps and trust your instinct. Trust that gut feeling, and it will pay off. So, easy round to finish that off. Glass got that final kill. Even if he didn't, we had a pretty safe situation right there with the claymore, as well as the angle I had on the doorway. So, that's just how I would attack that bomb site. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to slap a like on it as well as let me know, do you pick up some tips and tricks from this video? Did you learn something or did you just enjoy watching me play and hearing my narration? Let me know down below. I always love to hear from you guys as well as if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of fantastic content coming out that I would not want you guys to miss out on. So go ahead and subscribe to me for that and until next time, I will see you later.